Let's talk about finding clarity. I have had many clients coming to me saying that they feel stuck, they know they aren't happy in their current position at work, they want to do something different but they don't know what that is, they feel um, like they have to stay there for financial reasons and fears around leaving, all of which are completely valid. And so finding clarity around what you want in your life and your business is definitely a process, especially if you are someone who has always kind of just followed the, the path laid out for them. I don't know about you, but when, when I was growing up, it was like, you know, you're going you're gonna to go to college and, you know, that's, that's that, you know, there was no, and so, and that's, you know, I'm glad <laughs> it was a great experience for me, but it was, I was doing what I was told to do. And then after college, it was like, okay, now you're going to go get a job. And so I did. And I, I guess my point in sharing this is that I was just always doing the next thing that I thought I was supposed to do and never really paused to ask myself, what is it that I want to be doing? Uh, I picked my major, <laughs> which is like embarrassing to admit, but I picked my major because I didn't have to take any math classes, okay? So it wasn't because I loved public relations that I chose that, um, or communications, but it, because I didn't have to take math classes. So learning to pause and tune inward and ask yourself sometimes difficult questions is an important part of finding that clarity and i have found personally that tapping can really help to access these things that are inside that we don't even really know that are there feelings that might be so far buried that we need to kind of do some work to to get to them and tapping Tapping has been profound. I mean, you guys know that. If you've followed these videos, you know how much I love tapping, how passionate I am about it. And I, I want to share how this, can, how this can help you find some clarity. So taking some nice deep breaths, maybe thinking about what specifically you wanna find clarity around. Is it something in your personal life? Is it something in your business? Is it a particular program that you want to be launching and you're not sure of the structure of what that looks like? Or is it a career change? Or maybe it's shifting the the ideal client that you're that you're working with? Or maybe it's shifting something in your in your personal life um, with your relationships or um, a new hobby or it could be anything, guys. Anything. So you know. Tune in. Maybe take a moment here. Maybe roll the shoulders a little bit. Move the neck around. Get settled in your seat. Even though I'm not totally clear right now, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm not clear on what's next or what steps to take, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm lacking the clarity in this moment, I'm open to seeing if tapping will help. Come into the top of the head. This lack of clarity, being unsure, sides of the eyes, not sure what to do next. I'd like it to be really clear. I'm ready to tune inward. I'm ready to find the clarity. To really listen. And love myself through the process. I'm ready for the clarity. My mind has felt chaotic lately. And it is time for the clarity. Pause there, take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. And a few questions that you can ask yourself that can that can start to 
help shape this in some way. And sometimes it's helpful to journal these things. Sometimes it's helpful to just tap and kind of riff as you, as you go with what's coming up. But um, what what makes you what makes you feel happy? What are the things that bring you joy? Right? Maybe it's spending time with certain people. Maybe it's working on certain projects, doing certain activities. What brings you joy? And then the opposite of that, what drains your energy? Right? So if you're working on a particular project and perhaps there is that chaotic mind around certain things, that maybe there's a way to ask for help, right? If, if something's outside of your wheelhouse, then maybe you bring somebody else in to, to implement that. But beginning to create awareness around the things that bring you energy and joy and the things that don't, the things that drain you, can be helpful in creating that clarity. Taking some nice deep breaths. Even though I'm still lacking clarity, I'm open to finding the answers. Even though there's still this lack of clarity on next steps, I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to align with my higher self, with my intuition, and trust what comes up. Even though this lack of clarity is still there, kind of makes me think of like a foggy day, feels foggy. I'm ready for that fog to lift. I'm ready to focus on the things that bring me joy. The activities that bring me joy in my life and in my work. Spending time with my loved ones. Sharing my passion for what I do. And letting go of the things that drain me. Finding that sweet spot. Focusing on growing. What do I want to learn about? what I want to call in. It's time. It's time to find the clarity. Take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. Sometimes it can be helpful too to think about people that you admire and Maybe their level of confidence or how they carry themselves and how you you want to be like that, right? It gives you a nice um, visualization or focus point to bring that same type of energy into your life and into your business. Just taking some deep breaths, maybe closing your eyes here. Tuning in. Come into the top of the eyebrows. Maybe bringing your attention to that third eye. Focusing your energy there as we continue to tap through the points coming to the sides of the eyes. Maybe visualizing at that third eye like a movie screen. Let's see if any sort of images start to come up on that movie screen. Any colors, any words. The thing that's coming up for me right now is focus. 
And I think that makes sense because I can be someone who tends to have a lot of different things going on. <laughs> and while I think it's okay to be multi-passionate, as I am multi-passionate, focusing on one thing at a time is important. So maybe that resonates with you too. Maybe there's lots of different things that you want to do. And so perhaps it's making a list of those things and then prioritizing them and starting there. Doesn't mean you can't do all the things, but focus one thing at a time. The inner self always knows you have the answers, right? I know this. I know focus is important. I know that uh, multitasking is ineffective, right? There's all those studies on that. One thing at a time. Focusing. Just pause there, take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. Notice how that feels for you. Notice if something else came up on your movie screen and maybe it doesn't even make sense. Maybe it's just colors. And then in, you can ask yourself, how do those colors make you feel? Do you notice that feeling somewhere in your body? If that color was an emotion, what emotion would it be, right? So it's kind of like you're doing your own detective work, asking a lot of, a lot of different questions along the way. And it can be really, 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 really powerful, guys. And you can get to a point where you're answering questions that you didn't even know were there. And I, I promise you the clarity will come. The more that you tap, the more that you peel back those layers, the more that you acknowledge the, the emotions that come up, even if they don't make logical sense in your head, it's okay. Just follow follow the path. It unwinds, it unfolds for you. I hope that you found that helpful and I'm sending all the good vibes for you to find the clarity and the direction that you're looking for. Take care and if you are interested in my uh, upcoming course, it is six weeks long. I'm running it live. It starts on March 6th. Check it out. The all the information is in the link in the uh, in the section below. Have any questions? Reach out. Take care, guys.